Hello and welcome, let's upgrade our BIOS. I will show you how to upgrade the MSI motherboard driver, but it works on most other mainboards the same way. Give the video a like and subscribe for future tech tips. First, download the latest BIOS for your motherboard and double check that you found the right one. Manufacturers use very confusing names, so it's easy to make mistakes. Look at your motherboard's packaging or even at labels on the board itself to be 100% sure you know which one you have. Then go to the company's homepage and download the BIOS update from the support, downloads or driver page for that board. Check this video's description for links that will make this easier. Once you got a zip file, extract it to have the BIOS update file. In our case it's just called e7982ims.3do. Put it on your USB thumb drive, make sure you use a properly working USB drive. If it has issues of the kind that it automatically disconnects, do not use it. Your motherboard is at stake here. Anyways, just put the file directly on the USB drive. Then restart. During restart, tap the delete key, the DEL key. The key right of the enter key, the one that deletes to the right. Press the delete key to get into BIOS. This should be true for MSI boards. For others, you might have to use F2, F12 or even F1. If you really cannot figure it out, find the manual online, it will tell you which key to press. In the BIOS, you have to find the update function. Here it is called mFlash. You can find it in both easy and advanced modes, between which you can switch, and just select it, press enter, confirm and wait. In my case, I had to wait 35 seconds for the computer to restart and enter a special BIOS flash mode. In this mode, all we have to do now is select the file we copied on the USB drive earlier, the 3DO file, and press enter and confirm. Now the real waiting begins. For me, it took two and a half minutes for the update to finish. Then, after restarting, the screen wouldn't show anything and I was already scared that I had trashed my motherboard. But all I can say is, number one, patience. Number two, if after 5 minutes there is nothing, turn off the computer, wait 30 seconds, start it again. Number three, patience again, this time wait 10 minutes. But it really should be much faster. And after it finally finishes updating and restarting, you should be able to boot normally. Weirdly, boot times increased dramatically after the BIOS update for me. But hey, the version number is higher now, yay I guess. I hope this video helped, like and subscribe and share it with anybody who needs help with these things. See you next time, ciao!